Hi everybody, this is Danielle from Blank Canvas. Happy, happy, happy to have you here with me today. And today I'm going to do a fresh look. Um, well, I call it a fresh makeup look. It is using lilac and orange. You can use it for every day. You can use it to just for something a little different, um, to go out, whatever. You can use it for whatever you fancy. I'm going to put my hair back so it'll be out of the way for when I do my makeup. I already have on a little foundation. I use my Ket Hydro in 09, um, but I haven't put on any concealer or anything. So we will do concealing and cleaning up after we have done the eye makeup. I'm using Too Faced Shadow Insurance as usual to prime my eyelid and my brows. I'm also going to use a little bit under the eye because we're going to put some color there. I'm going to define my brows but it's not going to be to the same extent as I usually do with pencil plus the brow powder. I'm just going to use pencil today. So I'm just going to run through this spoolie first. Make sure the hairs are lying down right. Just do some touch up with my Milani Easy Liner in Espresso. The first color that I'm going to use is on the lid. It's from Leishi. And I bought this off of E. It came like in a big box of like 40 colors. So I have a few colors. I gave away a lot. I have a few colors. And this is one of the colors that I held on to. It's a That's the color right there. Gold and orange. I'm going to put some in the lid. Push it into the brush. It's a loose pigment, so you will see some particles flying and put this on the lid. The color on the lid is going to come out a lot more golden than orange, but of course there's still some orange there. Just gonna pat that color on only on the lid area I'm even the outer corner free and the inner corner free I'm gonna use a copper color and this color that I'm using is flare from Milani um, you can also use coppering from Mac if you want a dupe I'm just going to use a little pencil brush and put this on the outer corner of the of the eye and going into the crease just a tiny bit just to add some dimension. I don't really want any darkness in this look. It's going to be a light fresh look. But I am using this darker color to contour and add some definition. Now I'm also going to put it under the eye. Connecting it to what we did in the outer corner. With a fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to blend out the color of the flare just a little bit. I want everything to be nice and soft, very effortless looking. This is why you need a blending brush, so 
It doesn't look harsh or it's deliberate. Under the brow, I'm using this almost finished shade from Revlon's Not Just Nude Cream Eyeshadow Palette. There's the one right next to the darkest color, and I'm using it with a synthetic brush to put it right under the brow. I'm using it at the same time to correct the brow shape. And then with my finger I just smooth it out because I want it to blend into the flare color. I have another lacy pigment here. And it's number 11 and it may look white but it actually has I mean the quiet but it actually has like a lilac tinge to it it's a very deceptive little color so I'm going to put this right under the arch of my brow and in the inner corner of my eye So just when it catches the light, it's going to look right up. Okay. And then in the inner corner of the eye. Blended it into the golden orange. And to the flare underneath. Come back in with that blending brush just to make everything whole and harmonious. I'm using Milani's Eye Tech to line my eyes, and I'm using this in 01 Black. When I opened this for the first time, I thought that the liner it's a felted liner brush, so I thought that the liner would have come across on this side. But I was wrong, it came out like a pen. This is like the actual cover for the pen. And so I'm gonna do a really fine line. I have liner on. I did a tiny flick on the side. This is the EV liner. It's the very same one that I like to put in my brows, except that this is black. The one I use in my brows is brown. I'm gonna put it on the waterline. Now I'm going to just do some cleanup from the eyes and I'm using um, NW45 from MAC Studio Finish Concealer. Now I'm just going to powder just down the center of my face. and a little bit under the eye as well. I'm going to use 
Lani Sunset Beach just to do some cheek work with the same brush. That's a warm apricot color. And now I'm using Honey Bunch by Revlon. So it's a mosaic of colors. Using some bronze, a light color, and then a peachy color in between. And I'm just going to put that on top. So that's really going to emphasize the peach color. I'm using this color gloss from the Kake Cosmetics. I don't know what's the color of the gloss. But I'm just going to get a little bit on my finger and just dab it on the lip. Now I'm finally going to put on some mascara using Avon Super Shock on the lower lashes first and then on the upper lashes. So that's it for the finished look. I hope you like it and I hope you try it. Um, makeup doesn't have to be colors that generally go together. It, everything can blend together to make a fresh look and the key to this look and any other look is to make sure that you blend well. So I hope you like it. I like it. A lot. I have worn this look out and received many compliments. I hope you like it too and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.